Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everyone is well and everyone's having a really blessed day. I am now doing some more juices for Lung House, so I thought I'd bring you along when I'm doing it. So I'm going to get started. I've already started with a cantaloupe so I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to face it on what I'm doing down here so you haven't got to look at my ugly mug you can actually see what I'm doing now then this is a cantaloupe I've already peeled and seeded it it is absolutely packed of um, vitamins and minerals this this has got um, folic acid calcium zinc copper iron vitamin k niacin choline magnesium phosphorus Magnesium, selenium, God, I'm going to run out of breath listing all them off. <laughs> oh, wonderful, look at that. Now then, I just told you a list of um, vitamins and minerals. It's actually got 12% of the daily potassium. Potassium helps relay signals that stimulate the lungs to contract and expand. So when you have um, your blood potassium levels are very low, um, you get many a symptom from whether they're high or low. But when they're very low, they may not contract and expand um, properly, causing results in sort of shortness of breath. Find loads of information on like a daily potassium. We already know that the magnesium is a bronchodilator. Um, I spoke about it in the last video, I believe. And it relaxes the bronchial muscles and expands the airways, allowing more air to flow in and out of the lungs. Um, so it can relieve symptoms of asthma, such as shortness of breath. Doctors actually use magnesium sulfate to treat people that are having severe asthma flare-ups. So yeah, so this seems to be a really great fruit to be putting into ours. What else has it got? It's uh, cantaloupe that actually got 100% of your daily vitamin C. We all know that vitamin C is good for uh, healing. It's also a powerful antioxidant. It's got our daily need for vitamin A. I think we went over vitamin A last time. It's critical for the function of our immune system. I mean, it's absolutely packed with vitamins and minerals. I mean, I'm only going over some of them. Um, it has the calcium and the vitamin K. I mean, vitamin K is suggested that it's important for slow, it may be important for slowing down the process of emphysema. Didn't know that one, but um, it has calcium, vitamin K. Vitamin K is also known for keeping the bones healthy. We knew that from last time. Vitamin A is important for maintaining the anti-inflammatory process. And if vitamin A and K are taken together, they're absolutely essential for uh, lung health. So yeah, it seems to be a really great one to be putting in for our lung healthy juices. And that's just one fruit. So we'll have to remember that. Start looking for the ones that have the essential vitamins that we need. The potassium is a huge one. You probably found that, you know, if your doctors, you know, in and out your doctors, they always take uh, our potassium levels into account. Right, so I've just peeled several limes. Now, limes have got also got potassium in, which we've just gone over, and calcium and magnesium. And it also has vitamins A, B, C and D. Now, I've not gone over vitamin D before. Vitamin D levels are actually, vitamin D levels are actually associated with respiratory function and health. Vitamin D, as we know, is important for regulating the amount of calcium and phosphate in the body. So therefore maintaining healthy bones, teeth and muscles. But it's um, abnormal levels of uh, abnormal levels of vitamin D have been associated with respiratory illness and reduced lung function. And vitamin D deficiency is absolutely prevalent amongst COPD patients. Right, I've just put in three limes. So that's wonderful for lung health. Let's turn that off because the noise might be overriding my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Right, give it a stir. So at the moment, we've got this really beautiful, creamy texture of just the melon and the lime. Oh, that's a lush. Mm. Right, what can we put in that? It's really lovely. Loads of bits and pieces that need using up here because they're all sort of on their way out. Let's put some spinach in. Now, I've put done a lot of information on the spinach on my last video, so if you need to find out what's in spinach that's also in the last one there's some wonderful stuff in spinach for lung health if 
you refer to my last video, you'll find out all about it. What should we do? We've got some kiwis here. Some kiwi. That will help some of that uh, spinach come through, hopefully, now as well. They've got such a wonderful flavour. Kiwi. Do you know, kiwi has a reputation as being a health food because it's uh, so high in vitamin C. Like I said in the last video, I think it has higher vitamin C content than oranges. But it's also um, rich in potassium, copper, um, obviously just said vitamin C, folate, vitamin E, vitamin K, phosphorus, magnesium and calcium. I think quite a bit of juice, don't they? Yeah, yeah there comes all the... Spinach, that should be, yeah, look at that, it's changed the colour of that plastic look. It's just real, like, bright green. Oh, that tastes lovely, really lovely. You've got that kind of, um, I don't know the word, that kind of taut feel, you know, when you have lime, but you can really taste the kiwi in that. I'm going to put that aside down, I think I'm going to put a couple of apples in. And again, we used apples in the uh, last juices that we've done. Uh, so that's in the previous video. And everyone knows that saying, don't they? An apple away keeps the doctor away. You want to stick to approximately about four ingredients because I've found that otherwise you start complicating it and then it starts tasting from what was nice to then being particularly horrible. <laughs> I've made some real rotters over my time, I can tell you. Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Right, so what did we put in? We put in one cantaloupe, two kiwi, one apple. I was going to put two in, but I'm filling up the jug. Um, some spinach and three lime. Oh, gorgeous. I'll put the recipes in the description box below. So don't worry if you haven't caught up with what's there. I shall put them all in. Right, I'm going to find a storage jar for that. For the next juice, let's put in some pineapple. Pineapple is amazing in juices. It makes a really, really creamy juice. Beautiful, beautiful for juicing and fantastic for lung health. Pineapple coming through there. So pineapple is uh, high in vitamin C, but it also has vitamins A, B6, E, K, but it also has calcium, folate, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, and zinc. Wow. <laughs> I think we have an apple in here. Now apples, I did talk about the stuff in apples in my last video and what the vitamins are good for. But apples actually contain small amounts of many vitamins and minerals. And um, they're well known, obviously, for their vitamin C and potassium. So it has vitamin K, B6, manganese and copper. So, yeah, it has lots of uh, vitamins and minerals, but they're some of the sort of main go-to ones. All right, so this one, we've got a whole of a medium-sized pineapple and one apple so far. Let's try that. Oh, lovely. Right, now I'm gonna put in some carrots. Carrots are a good source of uh, several vitamins and minerals, especially biotin, potassium, and vitamins A, K1, B6. And obviously carrots are rich in the beta carotene, which uh, your body actually converts into vitamin A. Oh, look at the color of that now. Oh, 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 oh. look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's a different one I've not tried before. It's quite... It tastes almost banana-ish. <laughs> quite strange. Uh, <laughs> a couple of kiwi. Just gone through kiwi and all the wonderful bits that are in those. Fantastic fruit. It has so much in it. Put some celery in. Ooh. Uh, celery is rich in vitamins and minerals as well. It's also a good source of vitamin A, K and C, plus the minerals such as potassium, which is great for us, and folate, also low in sodium. Celery has several types of antioxidants. Let's last bit of cucumber in, 
and then it should go in. Cucumber is also packed with all the nutrients that we need for our lung health. I mean, it uh, only contains 16 calories in a whole cucumber, huge water content in it, as well as having many important vitamins and minerals, like vitamin C, which obviously is essential for immunity, skin health and the heart, obviously. Uh, vitamin K, which we talked about before, and B, and copper, and phosphorus, the, and the usual potassium, which we know all to know about, and magnesium. So absolutely packed with nutrients. So I'm going to use that last bit of cucumber that I have left over there. I'm going to overflow in my jug. So I've used a few more ingredients than normal, just to use up some of these old fruits and veg that I've got lying around. Hopefully it won't be too gross. Because usually when you start adding too many, that's when it starts becoming pretty rank. <laughs> Uh, mm, that's not too bad it's not the best i've ever made but it's not gross well, i think i might do actually because it's i've got a really uh earthy taste to that one depends what you like really because some people really like the kind of earthy tasting ones so i'm not that keen on the earthy tasting ones i think i'm just going to stick one lime in it takes that kind of put a nice lime get that kind of taut taste which i love the only need going to need the one beautiful so i'm going to list all the ingredients the recipes in the description box below so don't worry if you uh, haven't caught up or you've missed any oh that's gorgeous that's really made a difference it really made a difference Right, well, I'm going to crack on with my last juice, which I made in my last video, which is uh, my go-to morning juice, which is my carrot, apple, orange and ginger. I'll leave that in the description box too for you. But I made that in the last video, so if you want a um, really great morning juice, I would try that one. And I suggest you watch the last video, Juicing for Lung Health. Um, if you go across to that one, you'll find a wonderful juice. It's a great morning juice. Real gives you a real wake up of a woohoo! <laughs> I'm going to make that for myself now for the morning and pack that away with this one. So I'm going to find some more storage pots to put that away and uh, hope you found some really great information and some really great juices from these. If you want to know about any more, then uh, contact me on catching the breath 2020 at gmail.com or comment below. And anything else you need to know about, just contact me and any questions you've got in regards to lung health, get in contact with me and I'll get back to you. So yeah, from me, catching the breath, I shall catch you soon. Catch you in the next video. Bye.